going on YouTube? Chris from Out West with Chris, back to do another Hunter's Hall unboxing. Here we go. Um, this is the Hunter's Hall Advance for February 2017. We're gonna dive in and take a look at this box in just a moment. A um, few housekeeping things really quick. I don't pay for this box. Uh, Hunter's Hall sent them to me and I open them, show you guys what's in. In this box, the service has become one of my favorite boxes to get. I always look forward to it. There's always gear that I can use for hunting stuff, but also for camping. Um, and just general outdoor use. So it's been very, very nice to get this box for me. So with that being said, you're probably thinking, oh, he's just saying that. Well, watch the video and you know, you'll know you see. You'll see why I have really come to, to like this service quite a bit. So part of that whole deal where they send it to me is I get a discount code that I get to give to you guys, okay? So if you are interested at any point in signing up for Hunter's Hall, you can sign up using the code OUTWEST and you'll get 15% off of your first box. That's a pretty cool deal right there. This is just for the viewers of the Out West with Chris channel. Um, you know, you can use that code at checkout, you get 15% off. Now they have a two tier system here with Hunter's Hall. The first tier is the Pro and it costs $43.99. The second tier is the advanced box, and that's the one I've been getting recently, and I really, really love it. Usually the advanced has one or two items that really pop that value up um, on top of what was in the Pro. The Pro costs $109, and their target value on that is typically around 175 bucks worth of stuff, okay? So pretty cool. Let's dive into February, Hunter's Hall. All right, so here is the card, and the theme this month is a big buck down. It looks like the overall value is of the advanced is 192. The overall value of the pro, 78. They also have a few promo codes on the back of the cards for certain uh, vendors that are in here. Um, you could go on their websites and punch in that code and save a little bit more money. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, it doesn't say what the March theme is going to be. Usually they'll give a teaser on the March theme. Um, haven't done that yet. But uh, this month, February 2018, big buck down. First thing that I see is this. This is the no mess dress kit. This is from On Track Outdoors, and it has a value of $13.99. Inside here, you get a pair of shoulder length elastic banded sleeves, one pair of fitted lead tex gloves, four heavy duty shop towels, two extra large sanitizing alcohol wipes, a roll of electrical tape to put your tag on, uh, one waterproof resealable bag for disposal, and one instruction sheet. So it's it's stuff that's gonna help keep you clean when you're cleaning an animal. Uh, so that's kind of cool, pretty lightweight, um, pretty interesting. I'm not gonna open that kit up because I'm thinking I might actually include that in a future giveaway on the channel. So um, I'm gonna set that aside and we'll probably do a future giveaway. By the way, thank you guys so much. 5,000 subscribers, we cracked that uh, a couple days ago. Uh, means a lot to me, I really, really appreciate it. So um, that's gonna be something that's given away along with a bunch of other stuff. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do subscribe. Hit that little bell icon, and so you'll know when I upload a video. And I should be putting out a video sometime this week, well, sometime in the next 10 days or so, kind of going over um, just a little channel update talking about that 5,000 subscribers and just other stuff. So, pay attention. All right, next up on the list, Cool Buck Antimicrobial Microbial Game Spray. Um, so that is this. Um, $13.99 value again. So have you ever harvested an animal and maybe you're, you've got it hanging in your camp, there's not a freezer nearby, um, flies and yellow jackets, I mean, just quick to get on that meat, you know, even if it's in a game bag, um, you know, they just are attracted to um, the smell, of course, right? So this is something you can help spray on. It's going to keep flies off, reduce bacteria. Um, it provides a warm weather barrier. And also you can use it to preserve a trophy cape. So if you caped an animal, um, you can go ahead and spray down the cape and hopefully, you know, keep flies off and other stuff. So, Coolabux spray reduces surface bacteria growth and provides a safety barrier for your meat in warm weather conditions. Spray directly on the surface of the skinned carcass. Apply ger generously on trophy capes to prevent hair slippage. One can treat two elk or caribou, one moose or two to three deer or antelope. 
Um, that's pretty cool. Made in the USA out of Pennsylvania. So interesting. Probably going to hang on to that. Um, you never know when you're going to need something like this. Where I hunt, typically it's cold enough we can just hang our meat and not have to worry about it. If it's extremely warm, we can go into, you know, drive 45 minutes into a little town and they've got a locker that we can hang our meat there. So um, not something that's super necessary, but something I'm going to hang on to just in case. The next thing is from All In Outdoors. And what this is, is a, a leg cuff, basically. It's a, a drag. So it's a leg cuff deer drag. So you cuff the, the legs of the, the deer and you tie a rope on, you're able to drag your animal. And there have been a few times where things like this have, have been handy for me. Um, <laughs> a couple years ago, me and my brother-in-law pushed an elk, pushed, pulled, rolled an elk you know, probably 150 yards down a hill. Uh, and that was one thing, you didn't want to stand too far in front of it because if that thing mowed you over, you know, it was it was really thick stuff. So if it got going, you couldn't get out of the way, you were gonna get beat up, you know. But a deer drag, so that looks like a pretty cool little item. Um, here it is in the, the container. Looks like there's a pretty nice handle there and uh, the, the leg cuff, the hoof cuff whatever you want to do it, whatever you want to call it. Um, it looks like a really cool system as long as it holds up. Um, you, you just separate the cuff part and when you pull tension on the other side, it basically uh, tightens it so those legs aren't going to go anywhere. Um, and then, like I said before, a nice little handle to drag from. Pretty cool item actually. Value on this is $29.99. So 30 bucks. I like this. I may give it away. I may not. I gotta think about it. Next up is from Honey Stinger, and these are um, original waffle ginger snap. So the snack. I love the snacks because it's introduced me to um, new snacks that I like for the trail. Ooh, this is messy though. Here it is. Took a little. Mmm, that's tasty. Mmm, <laughs> that's really good. It's like a ginger snap flavored, honey flavored, a little piece of like, almost like bread. And it's really thin, so you could pack a bunch of these in your pack, and uh, this would be good trail breakfast. The value on the snack was $1.99. Now we're gonna move on to the next item, and this is the last item in the Pro Box. It is a an item from CRKT, you guys know me, I'm, I'm a bit of a fan. Um, I know what they are, they're not like a high-end knife maker, but I think they make some good products. So it's a CRKT fillet knife. And the value on this is $19.99. I like the looks of this a lot. In fact, uh, we're gonna open it up. Here's another CRKT knife. Um, I picked this up a couple days ago. This is the Rikiri, um, and it's got the field strip technology. Uh, pretty cool. So this is the CRKT Clark Fork um, fillet knife. And it says it has a, a tail lock. I think that's what this is. I don't know how it works, but... Oh, okay, that makes perfect sense. So basically what you have is this little lever that sticks out at the back. Uh, um, you can pull it, pull the handle, flip the lever, push it in a little bit, and you're left with a, a fillet knife. Um, that's a... Pretty decent little fillet knife. It's got a, a good bend in it. That's cool. It looks pretty good. I kind of like that. I like that, um, the ability of it to fold up. Most fillet knives are a fixed blade. Um, this is actually the first folding fillet knife that I think I've ever seen or held, at least I know for sure held in person. Um, pretty cool little design. It looks good. Feels pretty good in the hand. Um, it locks up good when you follow the directions and you do lock it up. Um, there's no movement right there. It's, it's pretty solid. This is gonna be great for me personally. It comes with a net nylon sheath. It is a six inch blade and the, the steel on this is 513 CR MOV. The, the next thing about this steel is it's pretty easy to sharpen. It will go dull, so you'll have to sharpen it more than you would a premium steel. Pretty cool stuff. I'm excited to, to add this to my collection of uh, knives. I think it's pretty unique 
and I will actually use this. I actually like using fillet knives to process deer and elk. So a lot of times in a deer, the different muscle groups are separated by a kind of a thin, really rough, uh, oh gosh, what's the right word? It's kind of a fat layer in a way, but it's it's almost like, um, I, you know, I don't, I don't know the right word, but it's got that little membrane almost, right? And you can slide a fillet knife right underneath that and just slide, keep almost all of the meat um, in that muscle group, but get that layer of fat off, um, which I like to get as much fat off of the meat um, of deer and elk and that type of stuff, just because that fat doesn't really cook out very well. Um, sometimes it can get a little bit rancid. It's not like beef fat, if you know what I'm saying. So anyways, long-winded conversation about this knife. I'm excited to have it. I will use it and I will enjoy it as well. I'll put that right in there and man, I'm good to go. Awesome. So for 43 bucks, I think you got your money's worth, in my opinion, in this month's box. Pretty cool stuff. Let's go on to the advanced box right now. Two items in the advanced box. The first item is $60 value. It is the Skull Hooker Table Hooker. And this looks pretty cool. I've been kind of eyeballing this. This is a, a, a display method for your like European mounts or your skull cap mounts. Um, I think that this is pretty cool. And this one is a table version. Um, you set this up on your table, that would be your table. You put the, the mount right up here, like a European mount or like I said before, a skull cap, and it holds it in place. So that's pretty cool. And I, my understanding is there's different directions. So that little knob right there, you can angle it different ways that suit you know the, the mount best and the area, um, but that's pretty cool. And I was actually, took a little break and I was actually looking on their website and their website has some really cool mounting options. So go check out Skull Hooker. Um, I thought this was cool. It comes in two different colors. The one I have here is the brown. It's a powder coated steel and it's just got a nice design on it. Uh, I mean, check that out. That's, that's pretty cool. It's nice and heavy too. So um, it's going to hold the weight well. Um, you can, there is a screw hole in it that you can screw down the base um, if it's something you don't mind screwing or you want to make kind of a permanent spot for it, but that's pretty awesome. So it says it's suitable for mounting deer, antelope, black bear, and Paula boar alligator. Now larger game like elk or a moose or you know something that's got more weight to it, um, they do have a larger version from my understanding. So check that out. Um, pretty cool stuff. And personally, I think the European style, like the European mounts uh, with the bleached skull and the horn, um, I think those look really cool. Like I said before, $60 value, I think that this is a great uh, item to have in this box. Last but not least, we have an item from Outdoor Edge. And Outdoor Edge is a company that I'm pretty familiar with. I have a few of their Razor Light EDC knives. I have their Saberback Bowie. And, you know, they've got some pretty, pretty cool stuff. That they're known for um, interchangeable blades, so the razor style blades that you pop out, you put back in your knife, and those work really well. This is an Outdoor Edge Razor Light. Um, they're saying the value on this is $53.99. That might be MSRP, but you can typically find these, um, if it's the one I think it is, for $35 um, on Amazon. $35, $45, somewhere around there. This one actually, might be a little bit different than the one I have. It's a little tackier handle. Um, but basically it is a, a razor knife, as I said before. Um, it's got a um, lock on the back. So that's where you close it. You press that lock in. Um, and then there you go. So the blades pop out. You do have to indent a button. Um, the button is right there. This is actually, I think this is a little bit different style than the one that I have. Um, but anyways, thumb stud, some jumping up on the spine for a good grip. Um, these are great game processors. And one thing about them um, that's kind of cool is, you know, when, once you start working with them, you're gonna get gunk up into that area. Um, and you just slide it out, 
and wash um, with some water, spray some water in there, and you're good to get working again with it. Um, I've never had a problem with any of these wanting to pop out. It's usually a really good um, solid fit. And these things are super sharp. Ask my brother-in-law. Um, he has cut himself numerous times using these. It comes with this nice sheath, which comes with multiple replacement blades. It looks like this one has five replacement blades. So that's cool. Nice thing about it is um, if you're out in the field cleaning an animal, processing an animal or some meat, you don't have to stop and sharpen knives or switch out a knife. You just switch out the blade. You've got five other blades in um, your little container right here and pretty easily you can just keep moving on. I'm thinking this will probably be um, an item that goes into that giveaway I've been talking about. So putting it back in the box. Can barely tell that I even opened it. That's pretty awesome. These are great little knives, by the way. So that wraps it up. Um, the advanced box, like I said, $192 value. Um, you know, I, if that's the, maybe that's a newer version of the knife. I don't know. It looked a little bit different than the one I have. So maybe it's it's a little bit more expensive than the version I have. Um, mine is like the Razor Light EDC Pro. I can't remember. And it seemed, from what I could recall, that it was a little bit cheaper. But with that said, with that in mind, still, I think you're getting your money's worth. You paid $109. You didn't even pay for shipping. They include it in the advance box. And you got quite a bit of cool stuff. I think that this is awesome. This is really cool. Um, and a lot of other you know, kind of neat things in this month's box. Fits the theme really well. As always, I'm always excited for when this box shows up. I'm excited to see what comes out next month. Like I said before, use that code out west. If this is the first time you've seen one of my Hunter's Hall unboxings, I have a whole playlist. So check out that playlist. Um, you can get an idea of what all of these boxes have been about and just see some of the amazing things that have um, been in these past boxes. Some really good stuff. Thank you again for helping me get to that 5,000 subscriber mark. I greatly appreciate it. Let me know what you think about this box um, and some of the items in the comments down below. Um, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button. Check out my channel if you're new. I've got a little subscribe button you can hit right over here. So hit that little button. Um, over here, I've got a couple videos that I think you might like. There's one down here that I think you might like and one right there that YouTube actually thinks you're gonna like. So. If YouTube thinks you're going to like it, you might as well give it a shot. As always, everybody, thanks for watching, and thanks for getting out west with Chris.